Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be telling you about uh, my story and today it's going to be about the island of Minorca which is uh, uh, one of the Balearic islands of Spain so let's jump right into it. Um, I went to East Midlands Airport and um, in the UK and um, I uh, landed about two and a, a quarter hours later um, at, at the capital town's Mahon Airport and then um, I waited for my luggage and then I but it basically caught the uh, the bus um the coach um because um we went uh, with uh, Thompson at the time to the hotel and um again it um was a beautiful hotel with um, a beautiful swimming pool. We had um, a terrace and it was quite a large terrace which was good. Um, and um, yes, from what I can remember, um, the hotel was called Gra Grass Pal. Um, in Playa de Botch and I remember Playa de Botch Resort having an absolute beautiful marina stunning, one of the most stunning marinas I've ever seen um, the hotel had a variety of activities and entertainment um, uh, one of the nights that I was um, most impressed with and uh, what I can remember was um, some Brazilian da uh, dancers um, doing the samba and um, they, which is um, a Brazilian dance that um, is known as a carnival dance um, in Brazil and um, they let us uh, come up um, and do some samba uh, with them teaching uh, teaching us some uh, techniques um, which was absolutely awesome at the time and uh, watching the presentation was awesome as well um, it Calon Botch had a beautiful beach um, and um, it from what I can, I can remember um, had some great water sports so what you could do um, and um, it was just a, a, a stunning beach um, with a, a stunning garba and um, again around the town um, you can see uh, churches um, there's also from what I can remember a museum there as well um, as um, places to, um, to go shopping and there's a variety of other accommodation in the town so, such as apartments um, our resort um, um, wasn't uh, too far away from the beach either which was uh, fantastic um, um, when I um, when we got on the b at bus um, I got to see, see also other hotels and apartments um, also um, in Mi at Minorca and um, 
the Minorca destination um, was um, basically one of those holidays booked only about two or three weeks before we were going and we didn't actually know the resort that we were going to um, or the hotel uh, which uh, made it cheaper but we did pay the extra to get um, the better hotel at the time uh, because it was only like £10 extra um, for each person so we just thought of paying the £10 extra um, to get the better hotel at, at the time so we was guaranteed like three star plus um, four star uh, like hotel I think it was its official rating three star plus um, but again it was a, a stunning hotel and the food was amazing from what I can remember um, and uh, there's lots of cafes and places um, to have lunch and there's, be uh, there's beach bars as well um, and it was just a stunning place but uh, you can get some other stunning resorts um, also in Minorca like Cala and Four Cats um, and other stunning places um, again Minor Minorca is not as wild and as lively as the other Balearic Islands I will um, remind you of that it's um, more of a relaxation um, island although it probably does have the odd nightclub and in our resort and um, it did have some lively bars um, on like the waterfront um, for instance um but it's not really too excessive like Magaluf or San Antonio town um in Ibiza and Mallorca and um, again I wouldn't say it was as lively as, as Alcudia in Mallorca either um but um there are some like fun pubs and bars um, and there's like the more quieter relaxation bars and um, I think I had um, my first beautiful cocktail there which um, in Minorca and um, Calum and Botch and um, it uh, was a, a Polina, Polina, Pino Colada, sorry. <laughs> and it was an abs absolutely beautiful. I know, I can remember it was this coconut cocktail, um, alcoholic cocktail at the time. And it was absolutely amazing. It came in like a beautiful, like, coconut jar and it was decorated up and it was absolutely awesome and um, yes um, there are obviously even quieter resorts um, that uh, in Minorca um, that don't have any entertainment what, uh, whatsoever any like live music uh, for instance um, but this is like one of the more lively resorts uh, that and like Cala and Four Cats um, how you would pronounce it sorry for my pronunciation again um, but yes um, but 
but again you can get um, some isolated also hotels where there's just a beach basically um, if you're looking for that um, but again um, you can obviously book um, with a tour operator online or book at a travel agency or say book direct with them or you could um, book your hotel and um, flight separately um, we um, I can remember we're also uh, catching um, a bus um, and back to Minorca's second city which is Sea du Sela and it's its second largest city it was the original capital of Minorca Island but um, that's changed to Mahan um, because it's a, a lot it I think grew as a larger city so it does use that as its capital but see Dusela is another large historic capital with like lots of museums uh, well museums to visit and um, a beautiful like old town um, to visit as well um, with like some old cafes which is absolutely amazing to see um, and yes just some nice historic landmarks just and again the place was uh, just very interesting and it's also a very beautiful island in in my opinion very picturesque and you can do um, a lot of activities there's also a lot of excursions and uh, you may be lucky enough to experience a, a free excursion on the trip um, if you're booking a, a package deal for instance um, so which is like a blanket trip which takes you around the area uh, for half a day for instance um, so yes um, there's um, other resorts that you could probably catch a taxi to or a bus to nearby um, local bus so um, from what I can remember local bus transport was good and um, very good in Minorca so, and um, we, we stayed for a week and um, then um, obviously the coach um, picked us up, took us to the airport and uh, took us back to East Midlands and that flight there and back I can't remember having any delays um, so that was good um, I can't from what I can remember the meals were go uh, good as well um, but um, if you don't want to have the meals uh, now on the flight then you have the option not to have at meals um, if you don't want to um, but um, at the time in 2004 um, it was all included so we had the meal and it, from what I can remember it was nice and we had great service as well um, again um, just um, basically updating you all the time on the flight uh, whereabouts um, 
you're at on your journey on your destination there and back and fire safety um, before you take off and um, drinks um, and basically um, another um, a basically a complimentary mint or sweet um, that we were given for landing um, on the way going um, which was nice um, we also um, had like duty free um, so yes um, it uh, was um, an amazing experience um, and I fully enjoyed it um, and uh, from what I can remember we all enjoyed our time there um, so yes um, thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so I love you all I think you're amazing and thank you all for watching um, and for um, subscribing all my subscribers everybody that watches and subscribes to this channel is absolutely amazing i love you all you all mean the world to me and um, my next video um is going to be about um, up to date travel news in the uk so please keep watching and bye for now thank you bye